understand what is going on. What in the hell is going on? Lord help us, guys. Good morning. We got people here. What up? Yo, apparently the man impersonating T-Mobile worker climbing cell tower in Miami. Oh my God. Jeez Louise, good morning. Man, I was going to take a nap. <laughs> I was going to go right back and take a nap, and then I see this craziness going on. Wilson, thank you for tagging me. I have to change out this mouse thing. So. Wow. Is he like he's actually pretending to work on this shit too? Is that what he's doing? Like he's pretending to work on a tower? According to uh, Seven Miami News, roads have been blocked off in Miami after a man posing as a T-Mobile worker climbed the tower. The first responder said the man came on came around 7 a.m. According to the police, the cell phone company called authorities when they found out the man, said to be in his 50s, was impersonating an employee. A Miami police officer said the T-Mobile worker found that the tower was shut off when they noticed the man who had said he was a T-Mobile worker. The man climbed the tower and then tried to convince T-Mobile worker to climb with him to enjoy the view. Officials said some cell phone uh, services may be affected by this incident. Hey, yo, but look at him. He's like actually messing with the tower. Bro, the end of times, man. Maybe I can turn on the volume a little bit, right? Might be kind of annoying for people. Oh, the world. Good morning, rise and shine. I hope it doesn't fall off. I don't, is, is this mental health? Is the substances? Boredom? Oh, boy. I'm gonna see if I can pull up the place on the map. Oh my gosh. What in the world is going on? I was getting all snuggly. Good <laughs> Maybe he's fed up with T-Mobile and shit. Maybe he says he's going to just solve the issue himself. Fed up. By the way, I saw that there was like this... What was it? Earthquake in Taiwan? Wild, man. It was an earthquake, I think. And then they were talking about a... Uh, a tsunami, but I guess the tsunami never happened. I don't know. I wonder if they have anything on the radio, too, for uh, Miami. Let me listen to the broadcast. Broadcastify. I'll try to update the thumbnail. Good morning, by the, by the way, guys. Good morning. Hope you're doing good. I think tomorrow will be a busy day as far as uh, streaming some stuff. Where are we going? Oh, a 2 Caroline, thank you for the memberships. Thank you for gifting 10 members. Amazing. And just uh, a viewer discretion advice. This is a live feed. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't you know. God forbid this guy slips off and falls. 
I mean, yeah, so because it's zoomed in, it, it didn't look maybe like he's that high. This guy's up in the air. I mean, if you look, let's look at the light poles in the electric poles. This guy's high up in the air. I wonder if he really has any knowledge about those towers or he or he's just fiddling around, not really knowing what he's doing. Because it's, it's not like one of those things, you know, somebody climbs a structure and they're like, I'm going to jump off if you don't or uh, whatever reason or I want to hurt myself. He's literally up there fiddling with the towers. Wow. Don't tell me y'all leave. I, okay, you turning around? Don't, don't tell me y'all leaving now. They leaving? How are you going to leave some shit like that? Hello? Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, there's another one. This looks like they're actually on it. The same feed though. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's. Why is he leaving? Why is he leaving? Do we have any other Florida choppers out there? Oh my gosh, Florida's the worst. Ah. Oh. A new ballot measure. But even if that measure is approved, and then pro Slow the chat, there's a thousand people. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, uh, dang, I think that was it. Oh, man. How are they going to... What, what's going to happen to this guy in the tower? This was earlier. Let me see. Oh, so I gotta watch the out there. What the heck? Windows open. I want to get back to that developing story we've been following this morning: a man climbing a cell tower in Miami. Yeah, we can tell you, police and fire rescue is on the scene. We continue coverage with Seventh Alex Browning. <laughs> Somebody said the guy's working on ten Gs, ten Gs. <laughs> Alex, what's the latest? What's happening now? Lorena, Ethan, he is still climbing this tower like a jungle gym. We are approaching the three hour mark here. So it was saying may maybe possibility he could have fell and they didn't want to show it. I don't We're know. At 29th Street and 13th Avenue. If we push in here, I don't know if you can see him. He's behind one of the, the channels there uh, midway on this tower. This all started around oh. 5 a.m. here. Apparently, a team mobile worker noticing when he arrived at this tower site that the power was disconnected. He turned the power back on, came out, and then noticed a man there on the tower. There uh, were some words exchanged. This man here on the tower mentioning something about God, his faith, oh, the view God. from above. Oh, no. So, is, is it a mental problem? This is the 5G tower thing right here, too. Uh, were some words exchanged this man here on the tower mentioning something about god his faith the view from above uh and that is when uh, the employee who found this man called 911. so police have been out here as well as fire rescue since about seven o'clock you can see uh, of the tower uh, not sure if you can see the man but again he's been up and down across uh, all these uh, poles here on this tower uh, for several hours uh, police are focused right now uh, there is a negotiator eddie if we can go over to the ladder truck there uh, they're utilizing a fire rescue truck to try to speak to him through a bullhorn to try to get him uh, to come down peacefully. Obviously, this is a dangerous situation, especially since this man has been up there for so long. We have seen him pulling things and ripping things off the tower, throwing them off. Uh, again, not sure if those are components to the actual Oh, he's ripping that tower apart? But police right now are just trying to have this guy give up peacefully without incident. We do know several 
teams with Miami Fire Rescue are here prepared, sadly, for the worst case scenario, but also for a rescue. Uh, they do say they are ready if he does give up to go ahead, get up there with uh, harness ropes, uh, contraptions like that. To yeah. Safe, safe. His pants look ripped. Too. Lower him down again. If we are live right now, you can see him there uh, beginning to once again climb this tower, uh, making a way to the center part, the core of it. Uh, again, we don't know really what his intentions are. Uh, T-Mobile worker said he claimed to be an employee with the cell service company. He is not not sure how he was so familiar with the tower site to go ahead and be able to shut power off to the cell tower and then gain. That's what I'm saying. So the chopper just left and this guy was up there and maneuvering, like pl unplugging, replugging. I guess he shut the power down. He was literally working on the boxes like he knew what he was doing, even though they say he's impersonating a uh, T-Mobile employee. Access to a secured location and then begin climbing it. Uh, again, hoping for a peaceful surrender. Uh, again, uh, just a, a lot of commotion here, a lot of worry from first responders. 29th Street, meanwhile, and 13th Avenue. Uh, closed, as you can imagine, with a massive response here from res first responders here in Miami. We'll stay on top of it. We'll let you know if anything changes uh, throughout the morning. We're live in Miami. Alex Browning, today in Florida. Wow. So much for that. The chopper left, unfortunately. I don't think there's any other choppers up over there. Just do one more quick sweep. No, not right now. Pretty, pretty kitty nine nine oh nine. Thank you so much for the membership and eight two eight Caroline. Thank you for the uh for the ten gifted memberships. Appreciate that. Uh, I was really hoping to see what, what was gonna happen with that. Um, NBC. Let me see something. If there's gonna be a chase or not. So NBC going. Okay, hold on. We might have something, guys. We might have a chase right now. Hold on a second. We might have a chase, guys. Hold on. Don't leave me. I'm out of here. Screw this guy. We might have a chase, baby. We might have a chase. We have a chase. Yes, Gary. Yes, Chase. Yes, Gary. 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 Yes, All right. Maybe it was somebody else's on the YouTubes. No. Copy all. We're on the YouTubes. I'll be with you guys in just a minute on the YouTubes. We got to do some, some work. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Two for one, baby. Two for one deal. Buy one, get one free. Let's go. All right. Let me update the thumbnail. We got the guy that's about to throw himself off the, the ledge. Now we got a pickup truck, another pickup truck. Let me see if I can just... Ooh, the police coming in hot, though. Not buying none of that safe space shit this morning. Coming in hot. It's a little going to be on the westbound 10 freeway. We're going to be in the San Gabriel area. Actually coming up on Alhambra. You can see that big pickup truck right there. This has been coming out of the Ontario area. California Highway Patrol behind it, not behind <laughs> it. Now they're behind it once again. That vehicle really starting to move along and about 102 miles an hour down there this morning. His traffic drive is going to be sweet. And now I'm getting information that we are not going to go to a map and we're going to stay with this right now. So with this pursuit continuing out here, California Highway Patrol Gabriel area are on the ground behind it. And then also you've got a sheriff's helicopter above it. Now they are calling this pursuit and they understand two people inside that vehicle. Stolen truck. And two that is people. A big okay, truck down okay. there. People just when you're looking at it, say, oh, that's just a you know, Ford F-350. Uh, that 350, that is a full ton. And we've been watching this thing as it's been actually picking up a lot of speed. Since we're going to be calling this an actual pursuit, I'm going to change up our, our dynamics and t turn oh, on man, some of the tech cool. so you guys can follow along. But again, this is happening right now. Alhambra, westbound 10. Good morning. Rise and shine, wake up. 
This is a stolen pickup truck. Not sure exactly how they got behind it to begin with, but uh, we did pick it up. We got information from our assignment desk. Freddie doing amazing work down there this morning. Basically said, listen to Orange. That's a, that's a California Highway Patrol frequency for uh, out in the Baldwin Park area. And we heard it. They had a helicopter above it. They were calling it out. Don't know. Maybe it's some sort of tracking device inside that vehicle because the helicopter was definitely watching this truck in traffic in the Ontario area, doing a lot of <laughs> hinky things, but basically just trying to get around the traffic, getting in the emergency lane. That was one of the reasons why I had a feeling that this was going to turn into a pursuit. Uh, mm. They did get some California mm. Highway Patrol units behind it, and then they were Shout making the that effort the to get, make this just to bring it to a stop. They were even talking about spike Natalie. strips there for a little bit. Don't know how you're going to do that in traffic, but they were talking about it, and then as soon as the media got overhead, well, they were calling 1022. That's the sheriff, or that's uh, law enforcement talk for discontinue. Oh, but then no, they no. changed that up and said, you know what, keep that helicopter Perfect. over it. Let's we'll go. keep an eye on it. Now we're actually getting into the California Highway Patrol, the different division. This is going to be East L.A., and I understand they technically have re-engaged that pursuit. So you have one unit bound there, lights and sirens, giving the public heads up on what's going on. Let's go, baby. All right, just made the thumbnail early. Everything's happening early today. I wonder if this is any, you know. You know what? We had a little trouble like, there, but I heard why did they make that call? You know what? That is a great question, and I would love it if, uh, you know, someday I might be able to actually sit down with or somebody else from, from media actually sit down. And, uh, you know, what what are the parameters? What are they weighing out? I know safety is always going to be a concern for any law enforcement, and these pursuits, they do. They worry so much about, as they should, about safety of everybody involved. Now, they're worried about the law enforcement officers, They you know, if it's a deputy or police or whatever, chasing those vehicles. They also worry about the public. They don't want to see anybody innocent get involved or hurt mm. in one of these, and they actually do worry about injuring even that suspect. Right now, it looks like we're going to be changing up the freeways. It looks like we're uh, changing on to or yes, maybe getting off sure. of. Nope, we're staying on the 10 right. freeway. I know this area right now. But, uh, but yeah, they do. That is that is the biggest concern. But I wonder if there's other parameters involved as well that, you know, that law enforcement. And, again, these officers, I have no disrespect for them at all. If it sounds like I'm second-guessing, I am not. I am just a guy in a helicopter watching this chase happen and unfold underneath us. But I always kind of wonder what it is that they think about or what, it, what they weigh to make those calls to say, are we going to chase it? Are we going to follow it? Or are we just going to let it go? The, but that is accurate. I got to keep an eye on it right there because it looks like we are transitioning onto... We are. We're actually transitioning onto the uh, onto the southbound uh, onto the southbound 710. Yep. I, I thought I was going to lose it. Thank goodness I did. Um, well, Baldwin Park is the area, like they you say, East LA um, division of the California Highway Patrol. It was in Ontario. Was when we first were listening to it, and it was on the 10 freeway. And it was heavy traffic. There's, there's heavy traffic on the 710. He picked the picked bad bad freeway to jump onto right there. And you can see that truck just ha hugging that emergency lane. And, you know, at those speeds, any... yeah, and, you know, and, and he's kind of squeezing up in there. And, you know, uh, the only plus, oh, no, see, that's what I was really just going to say that I'm worried about. Somebody might be just trying to get off the freeway, changing lanes, and then you got this guy coming down that, uh, barreling down that emergency lane. That's where you might see one of these collisions. I was muted. I, Oops. I'll say move, and, uh, bitch. I'm getting information Get that this is the, the five south. This is the five south. Sorry about Get that. I was uh, got a little behind myself. What happens, dude? Jeff, if we can get over to the to the right, it looks like got he's going to be getting too. off the freeway. That's why uh, getting but off. we're going to keep an eye on it best we can, see which way he goes down there. Uh, I always, you, they tend to make a right turn, but sometimes we've seen them make lefts. So we're going to keep an eye, keep an eye, keep an eye, and it looks like he's taking an alleyway. Thank you, Jeff. Ooh. Jeff is our pilot this morning at the tiller. But, yeah, he's taking that alleyway right there. Maybe he knows this area because that was something that I, I wouldn't have mamas. known was there. And I'm sure the just general public wouldn't know as well. Now we're starting to get into these busy streets. Uh -oh. And, again, you got to remember, this truck is, I mean, a pickup truck is large. But this is a full-ton uh, pickup trucks and also a crew cab. And that is a big, big vehicle. And, again, uh, you know, the hard braking, hard acceleration, these trucks... 
not really designed for that. And of course, when you got somebody Ooh. that's anxious behind the okay, wheel, okay. you just don't want to see an accident. Picking up this morning. It's me, Donnie. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, that that is pretty much every pursuit Buller. we're on. I always worry chat. about what's going to happen, and you know, and I think that's. I hate Nancy Grace. Watch these pursuits as well. <laughs> you Nancy Grace says we're just walking the dog. Ryan, now not the I dog. Got to give it credit. I'm going to get wide one more time. No, I'm not going to lose the car. But you can see the California oh. Highway Patrol. They are actually at that light right there. That one officer nearby. But I believe that they actually were just told also do not pursue this vehicle. So right now he's actually on the roadway right there. You can see those uh, street names as we're making our way. I guess we're on Boyle, and this is going to be coming up towards uh, uh, County U. USC is also another very busy area out here as this uh, vehicle continues on on these tree lines roads, which is always difficult for any kind of pursuit. But uh, as long as we stay in that Boyle Heights, East LA area, if he stays on the roads, it's going to be harder and harder to keep an eye on him. But uh, coming up to another major right there in a solid red, making a left, a right turn on the left turn lanes. And we're, again, we're right here by uh, County USC. But again, keeping an eye on it. And that's what they're doing from the air as well. Rise, we get one so early that, today. Well, that's that's what they call it. They say discontinue, uh, dis discontinue that pursuit, and that's what that officer did. They backed off, and now this truck driving on the wrong Ooh, side of the road on a yeah. bridge, and picking up speed. And this is, you know, and these oh, are the things you're thinking. You're you've got a family member, a friend, somebody just driving along. Maybe it's, you know, clearly not us. We're not on the road, but just driving along, and then you've got this huge pickup truck on the wrong side of the road. Uh, you know, clearly everybody's trying to pay attention, but, you know, there's moments where you just don't expect something like that, and you just don't want to see anybody get hurt. Another solid red right there, and this pursuit continues as we're making our way out uh, into the East L.A. area. Another hard turn. Looks like we're going to be going back underneath the 10 freeway out there, and I... Got, oh, I hate it when we're not up uh -oh. close to it, but uh, we're going to keep an eye, see if we can figure out where he just that went. Did he go? Was that him? I thought that was him, though. Ah, oh, man, he, he lost it. I saw, I swear I thought yeah. I saw a vehicle pass by that was him already. I I think I'm sorry about that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's helping me out, and I yeah. love the help. I love it. I love it. Anybody that's listening down there, I, I, I appreciate it. Uh, but he's keeping on down there. And, of course, right now we're in more of an industrial area, which is better, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's safer, uh, making our way back out onto another major. And it looks like another solid red out there. Ooh. And you got folks just, you know, just driving. Oh. And then you've got this guy just blowing. Yep, downtown LA. This guy right there, that pick, that 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 uh, that Mustang. He's oh, he's got somebody in front of him. Oh, and God. what are we doing here? Wow. Uh, just, yeah, and so. There are two people inside that truck. That's what we were told. Two people inside that truck for sure. And uh, they made his way out back over this way. But, uh, but again, you know, you can kind of pick it up bro, we're by, by Sam's Hofbrau. Uh, but right now you can see this, this driver basically just it is opportunity. That's all he's doing. I don't think this vehicle has, has – he doesn't have a plan. Oh, helicopter morning. I wonder if I have the space for it. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't work. Never mind. I got to fix the screen. Not right now. Next time. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, and, 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 that's, and th that's the thing. And right now, I'm sure there is other law enforcement. We're definitely in the LAPD area right now, uh, you know, that are probably watching. And, they, you know, somebody's got to make a decision. Are we going to try to get involved? Are we going to try to bring this to a stop? Or are we just going to let this guy just kind of just kind of run amok out here and, uh, and hope that nothing happens? It, it is really, it's an interesting, there's so many questions in the dynamics on the decision-making process. Again, it, it is something that I am not privy to, and I've got to wonder. It's one of these ones where he pulls up underneath. He, he's keeping, he's keeping on, keeping on, making that mm. turn right there and back underneath that freeway. So he's going to come out or make a U-turn. I'm going to stay a little wider. Uh, either that, or he's taking a moment to kind of decide what's going on. He's got, he's got that cover going on. That is for yeah. sure. But uh, just kind of waiting, kind of waiting, no. and I'm sure everybody else's eyes are on it as well. Yeah, 
dead. I, I, I wonder if he ditched it under the bridge. Or if there's some type of path under the bridge. What's up? Oh. Who's that? Yeah, who's that right there? What the heck? Oh, no, somebody. Yeah, like it, you know, right now we're just finding, we're hearing that they actually did get out of the vehicle. I'm not sure how they're getting eyes on it down there, but they said that they did. They just left that vehicle, and it's uh, two people got out, uh, wearing, one of them wearing a hoodie, which is, uh, it, it, but uh, at any rate, they, they have, uh, I'm trying to see if we can actually see them as well, but apparently two people ditched that vehicle down there, and they, their vehicle is on, you know, stopped underneath there, and those two are out of that uh, out of that truck. That is going to be the sheriff's ship that's been over it all the way since the Ontario area. Right now, this is you know kind of what they hope for, and this is a good outcome. And it also shows you that the officers that are making those calls to pursue and not pursue, uh, you know, they they are doing the right thing because now that vehicle is stopped. Uh, folks are out of that car, so it is not a threat to the public. And uh, and again. They might be, in, you know, they say in the wind, but uh, as it would be, you know, that's better than having that guy behind the wheel of that heavy truck and, you know, cr possibly uh, injuring somebody or themselves on the roadway. Hey, uh, Joey Wilson, thank you so much for the five says Mel. Thank you more than anything for being such a great friend. You know, I really need it right now. I do still love the chases. LOL. Yeah, I'm sorry for all the ish that you're going through. We spoke the other day. I'm, I'll give you a call today. I saw your text. So I will call you probably after the stream. I'll call you. Um, Astastic, thank you for the 15 months. Says, good morning, Mel. Maybe the driver needs to whip it. <laughs> uh, and drive off once again. Oh, really? I haven't oh, seen okay, any no. black and whites make their way to the to this location. And again, this is. See, like, they have all this. I, I wonder what's under here. Like, is there homeless people up th down there? Like, I mean, it, can they just blend in and stuff? Yeah. That's a sheriff chopper, like, like Stu was saying. That's got to be pretty like an amazing, cool job, I think. I don't know. Or is it mundane? I mean, Stu seems to love it. But I wonder as a pilot. <clears throat> just every day going out flying. They're going to have to get boots on the ground. Some cops Copy. to show up over there. The female's out and the guy's still in it, if you didn't hear it, Jeff. Oh, the guy's still in it? Why? What's it waiting on? Huh. Oh, stop everybody over there. Pull everybody over. How are they seeing this? But still, I mean. Have you guys heard too that uh, right. Facebook That's what sold I thought. a bunch of data to Netflix? <sighs> all our DMs on Facebook. Facebook. I knew Facebook wasn't shit a long time ago anyway. I just use it to stream and stuff, but, like, I knew a long time. I mean, all these people have our information, and they're selling our information. Facebook and Netflix lawsuit. Facebook let Maybe Netflix Maybe we should get Gigi on it. I should have said that earlier on, too, when we were on the pursuit. Gigi knows all the officers. And supposedly paid, Netflix paid $100 million to access private Facebook messages, right? And so there's some type of lawsuit. Yeah, they got all. Yeah, they got all our information. I wonder if CBS is still on us. I went on a little TikTok rant the other day too. I don't think that TikTok really, really just because they care about us. I think it's a, a business move. Knock them out of the way. Knock the competition out of the way. But yeah, that's pretty messed up. I guess for ads, you know, just to, to better tailor. Man, these guys are probably already over at uh, the videos. Yeah, I was gonna say. So I guess somebody has an eye on them because he Stu was saying that there's one in the vehicle, the male, and that the female got out. I'm not sure why he would wait. Seems like he'd have a lot of opportunity to maybe walk off or. I wonder if they're on the yellow. Yeah, that was quick. We need somebody streaming on the ground.
I wonder what happened to that chase yesterday too. That that, that weird thing with a the guy. They chase him and and he. What the neighborhood got his ass. They chase his ass down. The look, he was like his girlfriend. His girlfriend was holding him back, and some other woman was screaming and crying. Looked like mama. What happened? What happened with that? It's nice to get these early chases because over there in Cali right now, what is it? Nine thirty, eight thirty, seven thirty in the morning. Hey, good morning. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I was ready to do traffic. Oh, he does traffic too? I guess like getting visual shots and stuff. Walking on 17th Street. Still on YouTube. Guys and gals, today I got a I got to uh, do a little I got to do a little both. Uh, we're actually still doing the morning show. We're going to keep an eye on this. Somebody just texted me and that this person may be walking on 17th Street. Then we also uh -huh. heard that it was uh, you know just the female got out. The guy might still be inside that truck. It what is odd is. I'm wondering why they don't have a, a law enforcement just drive to this location. Uh, that helicopter is is a resource, and uh, you know I'm not saying that it's like well, they're counting every penny down there, but uh, that thing could be doing a lot of other things, and it's besides orbiting this intersection. At any rate, uh, we're going to keep an eye on it along with everybody else. I keep seeing people making their way out from underneath that bridge, but I don't know what these people look like, you know. Um, yeah, look like I wonder if it's one of those so, homeless areas too. Keeping right an eye on it for sure, but as far as uh, you know, that the odds that that truck is going to pop back out and keep on going, eh, stranger things have happened. But I don't think it, I don't think it really is going to right now. So, anyways, we're keeping an eye. Oh, there we go. There we go. Here oh. we go. Here we go. Either that, or it's just or just a random. So. Let me turn on LAPD yeah, just as we and see got what's to the going other side. on. We're actually in our in our helicopter, so I'm going to be able to listen in on that. It's going to be central. Oh. Oh, there's the truck. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We actually see it. There it is. There's a, there's a bunch of people hanging out down there, though. Or at least two that I saw. He was trying to impress the female. <laughs> Guy's going to need a tuberculosis shot just by getting out and walking around down there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh my god. Did we see the actually, uh, black and white come back out? Or did he. No, no, it's just a car. I'm just wondering if he pulled up in front of it. <laughs> I got uh, Central up. I haven't heard Boo on there. But you know there's nobody in it because if there would have been, the truck would have drove off. Unless he's Suspects just crazy. GOA. Unless he's just crazy and just sitting there waiting. Suspect GOA. Gawa. Gone. Gone on arrival. All right. Well, kids, if you guys want to watch us do traffic and morning, uh, the morning news, we can do that. And if you are listening and you are local, I would uh, venture to say, turn on Channel 11, get some Good Day LA. <clears throat> you got Jen and Mel running the show down there. It's worth a gander, I can tell you that. And you got Samada doing weather today. And, uh, and we, uh, we got a lot of newsy goodness for sure. Man, Sorry, it wasn't more exciting, or maybe I'm happy it was. I can't really say.
Really, what happened to this guy cl climbing the tower? Like, is he still up there? Damn. I can't believe they just dipped out the Miami feed. Man climbs tower. Guys, we're going to move off if that's cool. Is that cool? Nobody's going to be mad? No! Five minutes. All right, copy all. We'll park here and we'll do, we'll do uh, 10 freeway for traffic. That's back inside. Stolen pickup truck. Why would you steal a, that kind of vehicle like that? I guess just moment of opportunity, I guess. Lala Powers, thank you for the four. And uh, Astastic, thank you again for the 15 months. Man, that's it. That's Hooper, by the way, if anybody needs to know. That's Hooper right there. What a morning. Oh, so there wasn't any tsunami warning, apparently, the, uh, for that Taiwan earthquake. I was about to say attack. Some people thought it was, said it was a, a China attack, weaponized weather attack, but they did a, a notes, community notes. Oh, really? Most of Marvel? That's cool. I grew up on Stu. Nostalgia at its finest right now. It can melt. Good morning. It's early for you, too. I know you wake up early anyway, but I feel like it's a, almost a good way to start the day. I was, I was, uh, I slept really good last night, but I feel like when I came back home, my stuff, stuff like taking a nap, like a little mini nap. I was like, you know, let me take a mini nap because who knows what's going to happen later. I'll be fully rested. But this kind of got me energized. Somewhat. Maybe I'll still take a nap, but I don't know. Um, on the main page, let me see what I got for notifications. It's nice that we got a two for one. Okay, I don't have any notifications on the main page for a couple hours. I did 23 and me. Turns out I'm white. I know. <laughs> it's pretty shocking. Uh. <laughs> I have full notification on the second page, so it can melt space. He said. Robert, you are my cousin. Regardless, I'm 0.2 percent mm -hmm. uh, Korean, though. Or no, I'm sorry. Point. I'm sorry. I think it is, actually it was 0 0.02 percent mm -hmm. Korean. New dash camera video shows the end Somebody of a pursuit that began when the Utah the Highway Patrol says a 12-year-old. A 12-year-old. Check this shit out. This is an old chase, but well, this is five days ago. I was sent this. Desiree sent me this. Old girl took her mother's car and sped onto I-15 earlier this month. Take a look. You can see the moment troopers turned on their lights and followed the car right at the center of your screen. There, the chase began near 4500 South and ended near 9400 South in Sandy. In just a moment, you're going to see a trooper pulls up alongside the sedan and eventually performs a pit maneuver right about here. The car then slows down, then spun out of control back into the carpool lane before completely coming to a stop. Luckily, no one was injured. The 12 year old was later returned to the custody of her parents. UHP is screening the case with the juvenile court system to determine whether there will be any further punishment. Mama's love. <laughs> Mama's love. Really? Oh, they're back on spot. They came back. Looks like this looks like the same spot. I think. I'm not sure. Hey, hang, hang on. Chris, what are we doing for the map? Yeah, I, Chris, Chris Law. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's Samata. 
Jacoby and Myers coming up. Chris, what are we doing for the map? Norwalk? I got I my concealed permit in the mail today. And a funny thing about it Copy. that I was showing my friend, she was like, so explain what race is you. Because it's, it's it has my race as you. Uh, did the government add a new ethnicity along with the other? Uh, I'll, I'll leave that out because people get lose their mind. I can't, I can't joke it anymore, I guess. Uh, I think I think it has you because I, I didn't specify anything. I, maybe that means unknown or something like that. <laughs> so it literally says you on there. Traffic. Ah, oh, man. I think that's the same spot. Or he's just looking at traffic. Maybe he moved around to get a... I, I thought it was the same spot, but maybe it's not. Who did I piss off down there? Unspecified. There you go. Unspecified. Selena. Whatever I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't believe we're still on YouTube. Or what do you unknown. guys want to talk about? <laughs> What do you guys want to talk about? If we're going to be on YouTube. I feel like when I went to go do it, my only options were like white, black. Oh, I don't have any internet. I know where we are. Yeah, there's no way I can't even join you guys. I'm like, I don't know, Pacific some shit. So I was like, you know, I don't know. I'm Spanish or Latino, but a lot of people would consider me black. Freddy, what are we waiting for? I don't know. I don't really care what anybody considers me as, but I just feel like they didn't have a space for me, so I just put, I just put unknown or whatever it is on special. Right. <laughs> Do Damn, I? Ar Arizona teens. Oh, by the way, you remember that girl that got beaten into a coma? We had talked about that on this channel. I think, like, yeah, we, we did talk about it. That girl came out of a coma. I thought I didn't. I didn't think she was gonna come out of it. She can barely walk. She's kind of verbal. The the girl, the girl that got beat up is blaming the girl that beat her up, and the girl that beat her up is blaming her and saying that she's a bully or something like that. So there's this whole back and forth. It's it's a whole freaking mess. Not into my DNA. It's just my concealed permit to carry, conceal to carry. I've never done DNA though. I've always been kind of curious. Maybe I should do it one day. I just feel like they'll have you in the system, your blood and lineage or whatever. I mean, it's not a big deal, I guess. I've, I've always had the curiosity to find out. I agree, Diamond. Yeah, the chase is over. That's it. Aftermath earthquake. This is the earthquake. Uh, I, I, it's so crazy for me to see buildings like this. I wonder what the death, if the, what death there is. Look at this. This was last night. I see Taiwan. I said it's the. 7.4 magnitude quake hits Taiwan, strongest in 25 years. So far, they're saying nine killed, but I would think there's going to be more than that. But maybe that's just what they can confirm. Now, here, here's the messed up situation about this, right? Because you, if you kind of follow this stuff, you know that China wants Taiwan. They want to take over the shit. And Taiwan wants to be independent. But China fucking wants them. And Taiwan provides a lot of these important. They're a huge manufacturer for for us and everywhere around the world. Anyway, when all this ish starts happening, let me see. Dozens of Chinese warplanes and multi, multi multiple naval ships were reported around the island of Taiwan this week. The largest coordinated display this year. At least 30 planes and nine ships were detected in Taiwan's air defense identification zone. So they're surrounded. It's pretty. It's kind of scary because Taiwan is pretty small. If you were to look at the map and see compared to China and the, the, the capabilities that China has, you know, I, I don't. I don't know what would happen if China went and attacked Taiwan. 
could this cause a huge war with us and whoever else trying to intervene? It could be a really messy situation. And there are some conspiracy people. I mean, I don't, there is. A, I think there is a weapons that can that manipulate weather. So, but some people were speculating, like, you know, like China did something. That's just insane. To, I can imagine. I can imagine seeing this in person. Velocity says I did my dog's DNA a few years ago to see what AI she was. Hey, what? Yeah, I say let them be independent. I I don't know. I don't know what the future holds for us. And and then there's the eclipse that you know people were kind of saying like what's going on the government's telling us something's gonna happen and april 8th and it's gonna be a big one and i don't by the way you can only see that in certain states like the, the in certain states you'll be able to see the full eclipse like everywhere else you might see some type of partial or whatever it's going through the middle of the u.s i believe we see eclipse map eclipse 2024 map some people were saying, like, hey, Mal, like, you, maybe you can go, you can stream it or something. I can stream somebody else's stream, but I, in Florida, I won't be able to see a full eclipse. Let me send you this map, from what I've been told, anyway. And, 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 and meaning that, like, when the eclipse happened, everything goes dark. It, it's, I've never, so a lot of people are actually traveling because they want to see this thing. Because I, I think the next time we'll have one, I think they said, like, 2044 or something like that so some people want to catch this maybe could be for them once in a lifetime thing and so they have the times and the maps like on what time or what states it's going to be going through will you be able to see the will you get that whole darkness feeling everything goes dark that that's that does sound kind of dope i don't have time to do that right now hopefully i'm alive in 2020 2044 i'd hope so i pray to god um, what's that? Twenty some years, <laughs> and um, maybe that could be a thing to go see this. That'd be kind of dope. So, in some places, they've called uh, state of emergencies. <sighs> From what the news says and what I read, it's just for the fact that there's going to be a lot of people, and so I don't know. See, twenty twenty four, state of emergency. Because I saw some place saying, I thought it was Alex Jones that. You're going to need two weeks of food and blah, 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 and all this. Blah. I, I feel like it can't hurt to have some supplies anyway. Like, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm in Florida, hurricane, or just the power goes out. I like to have an extra set of water and some canned stuff. Nothing crazy. Hello? Oh, really? Okay. Mm. Yeah, let me know. That'd be cool. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Bye. Okay. Velocity well, said she see if she can get somebody to get it for us. They're gonna be in the path, but the weather's also gonna be bad. They're also saying the massive number of people viewing this event in our state will stress and interfere with first responder and public safety communications and emergency response systems such as such that a technological or other emergency may occur. This is the state of uh, Indiana. I just don't understand, like, we host these huge, massive technological live stream events. If there's a particular time that everybody's on, I mean, why can't handle it? Should, why don't we pass that point? But anyway, so they had an executive order, Indiana does, and it says that a total eclipse will pass directly over the state of Indiana, giving everyone in our state an incredible view. The last solar eclipse to pass over Indiana occurred in 1869. Oh, and over here it says, 
Also, it's depending on where you're at. Over here, it says the next is not expected to, to occur until 2099. So I guess for Indiana. It is anticipated that the state of Indiana will see a significant influx of several hundred thousand visitors to witness what we what will be nearly all a once in a lifetime event. So that's why people this is a big deal for people. People want to go see this. If I hadn't just traveled now and all sorts of stuff, maybe I'd try to go see it. That might be kind of fun. But I, I also don't like to deal with masses of people. Um, over the last year, the state and local agencies have been preparing for this event and then anticipated there may be widespread significant impact placed on Indiana's emergency response, transportation, communications, critical infrastructure systems. All right. So maybe it's the fact that everybody in a concentrated place is going to be attempting to do something like live stream or it's going to be a whole bunch of people from other places all concentrated in particular places and that could cause stress on the system that makes sense thank you mel it runs through several towns called nine never nineva so people think it's biblical oh okay okay that's where it's coming from I mean, I think that's a cool experience. If I, if I was there, I, I, would, I would go. If I was local to one of these areas, I would, you know, just get a view, put a chair out. It's got to be pretty eerie. <laughs> Buster Brahma, uh, Brahma says, just go outside at midnight and pretend it's eclipse. Boring. My daughter started saying that. She goes, basic. That's basic. Show her something like amazing. Oh wow, you see this? Oh my god. Yeah, it's basic. Jeez. Nine cities named Neva. So maybe I need to look it up. Look it up and read about that. Oh, they're back. They're doing another live view of the tower? Hold on, let's see. WTJV. What are the let's see. Maybe they had to refuel. Let's see, let's see what's happening. And Uh, I don't see them live. Unless you're talking about the old video that they did, but no, they're not live right now. They went on. Went on for like 15 minutes and got off. Yeah, don't stare at the sun, guys, for sure. Protect your eyes. Some schools are canceled that day for... And then some are participating. That's cool. That's pretty dope. It was live on. Uh, okay, it was live on TV before the cable and internet. Oh. A message. I remember one time I, I did it and it, yeah, they gave us those special glasses, but it wasn't a full solar eclipse. We got to see it and stuff, but it wasn't like in the middle of it where everything, everything turns dark. I mean, that sounds kind of fun, man. I don't know. Fuck it. Let's just go on a road trip. No, no I can't. I can't do road trips anymore, man. I need to take a break from road trip. I was too much. Let's take a flight. <clears throat> Path of the, yeah, it's called Path of Totality. So it was a couple of years ago. I don't know when it was. When there was one, I put on the special glasses and I looked at the sun and it was cool. But I was not in the Path of Totality. The Path of Totality, it's like out of nowhere, everything becomes dark. 
your ear in the middle of the day and it's just like whoosh. Well, maybe it's not out of nowhere. Maybe slowly it happens. I don't know. Let's see if I can take a look. Let's see if we can find it on YouTube real quick. Path of Totality. <laughs> it's funny. I check this out. All right. Path of Totality. Twenty seventeen. Look how dark it's getting. Me, my department uses Monday.com, so I'm the work management tool. That's not for me. Well, Monday.com is all about flexibility, so you can make it your oh, own. You could choose pre-built layouts for anything, <laughs> or build your own workflow. You just open oh a board. You choose. Yeah, you gotta have special glasses to try to. It's going. Party up. Ohio. It's going. <laughs> okay, that's what happens. Oh. That was pretty dope. I was like, oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Imagine like back in the day when this thing, like it's when it was first discovered, like when the shit first happened and you're just chilling, I don't know, in a mud hut or like in a cave or something and, and all of a sudden this... I wonder if they thought like the end of the world was coming. Or maybe every time this happened, they sacrificed somebody. Oh my god, that's amazing! That's amazing! Oh my god! That is unbelievable! Oh, look at the stars! Look, there's Venus! Look! Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> Double rainbow! The logic to the Unbelievable. Rockets, really? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I'm like shaking right now. That is so unreal. Okay. That would be cool though to take to do to watch that. Or even for the kids. <laughs> Sacrifice the way to some back. Look, look at Enjoy it while you can, Coco. Enjoy it while you can, because it's going to be gone in about 90 seconds. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's so cool, right? Oh, it's beyond cool, man. Oh, my God. That is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah. All the way, double rainbow, oh my God. It's a double rainbow all the way. Whoa, that's so intense. Whoa, man. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow! Woo! Yeah! Oh my. oh my! Oh my! Oh my God! Look at that! It's starting to even look like a triple rainbow. <laughs> oh my God! It's full on double rainbow all the way across the sky. Oh my God! <laughs> Can't show too much of it. I think it's copyright. Oh my god! Oh god! What does this mean? Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh god! It's so bright! 
Oh my God, it's so bright and vivid. Oh! Jesus oh. Christ. Yo, put your oh. headphones on. If anybody got it, put your headphones on. That's so <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Bro, this is wow, that's for twenty ten. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a double complete rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. That's a legendary clip. Some, I'm sure there's probably a few people that haven't seen that. Like I was high on acid LSD. He posted this in 2010. This has 51 million views. Who's still here in 2024? Returning to this level of joy for a moment and marvel at the mystery. You never seen it? Oh yeah, it's a classic. I think he's even talked about it after the fact. I th I think I, I believe the story was he was high on acid, LSD. He still does videos too. Uh, a day ago. Yeah, we're still living in the sixties. I think this is gonna be it. Bro. <laughs> oh man. All right. All right. Anyway, I guess I'll head out for now. Um, I've been collecting some Diddy clips too. Oh, real quick, it's a law, Texas lawn, mo, lawn worker used weed eater to go after robber's suspects. It was a day ago. I'll have to try to keep the video on it. Gangster, what are they doing? What? Wow, that's some balls of shit. I would have been worried about getting run over. Oh, there you go. Tomalo. He's opening the door though. He's trying to. He's running up. He's running up. What you want? What you want? Oh, wait, somebody got left behind? Wait, who, what? Wait, why is this person on the floor? What the fuck, what just happened? Hey, right, toss this thing out the car. Yo, this dude literally fell out the car, I think, when he swerved. What the heck? Did they, did they fall or they threw him out? He's screaming at the guy to come and get back in. He must have fell out. Is he gonna beat his ass? Wow, look at this shit. No, no. Oh, they left his ass. He can't even get up. Yeah, get him. Hold him down. 
Look at this guy. Stay on the floor. 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 Jesus. Stay on the floor. Stay on the floor. Grab him. Grab him. Yo, oh, they're still down the street waiting for him. Throw that lawnmower on there again. Hit it one more time. Scratch that paint on the car. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, he, he's out of screen. They're right there. I right, making sure I take a picture and everything in video. Uh oh, oh shit. Wait, what? It's a red car. It's a red car. They coming back? No, he took off. I told him to get my gun. <laughs> This one's about to get his gun. Come on. Why do you use? Everybody, everybody, people are done with these criminals. Oh, he was stealing equipment from a couple doors down. He threw a weed whacker at the windshield. The car kept going, but one passenger fell out and landed in the street. He tried to stand up, but kept falling as the victim threatened him with a weed eater. He finally ran off and got back into the red four-door sedan waiting nearby. Precinct 4 says the second dark-colored vehicle may also be able... I think that other dark vehicle is involved as well. The suspect, Gerald Alexander, received minor injuries from being struck and was later located at a local hospital. Okay. Damn. It's going down in Texas. Meet me at the club. Oh, so somebody asked me yesterday what I thought about the video of, um, sorry, it's so dark. My light's off. <clears throat> the video about this um, girl that was shot by cops. And I watched the video. I retweeted it, too. Uh, uh, and, and this is a, a situation from, I don't know. Uh, this was from, I forgot what year. Savannah Grisano is the victim. And I think the, the way the story goes is the mother, the, the father, I don't know if it's the father or the boyfriend. Let me pull it up here. Father or the boyfriend kills the mom. Yes, the father. The father kills the mother and kidnaps, or, well, he shot the mother. She didn't die instantly. And I believe she identified that, hey, the father shot me and also kidnapped my daughter. And I guess she en she ends up passing away. This guy leads police in a high speed chase, and they pin him. We could watch some of the video. I don't know if I could play the whole thing. We could watch some of the shit. I think it's from twenty twenty two. Visiting and uh, making contact with you guys. If he gets in the desert. So I'm going to stop it there. Um, I don't know if they blur it out or not, so I'm not going to play it right here. I'd have to take it to the side. But uh, So th this was a kidnap situation. Guy's a psychopath, leads cops on a chase. 
And then you can hear them yelling, passenger, get out, passenger, get out. At some point, she gets on, on the ground. He's telling her to get up. Come on, get up. Come over. Come over. Come, 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 come. She gets up and starts running to them, and they fill her up, blast her ass with bullets. Let's see. I don't know if they censored or not here. He's literally telling her, come here, come here. She starts, like, crawling over. He keeps screaming, come to me, come to me. She gets up and runs. They do censor it, but she gets up and runs, and then they literally shoot her. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come, 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 come. And then she gets up and runs, and then after that, they shoot her. She's okay. Stop. So the thing with this is that cops had told initially they put out that oh this guy the 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 father must have shot and killed her like the perp. And um hold on a second. <laughs> Um, that the father inside must have shot and killed her, and that was not true. That was a lie. And I, you know, that's what it seems like. It was a lie. And then police released. The only reason they found this out is because this helicopter or, or whatever, you know, that was in the air and caught what happened. So, yeah, I, I really messed up. Mm hmm. So I, I don't know, you know, I don't know if the family can come back and sue or, or what the deal is. I feel like they should. Police, law enforcement should make some type of statement if they haven't already. And this is uh, let me see something. This is kind of just like resurfaced now and everybody's talking about it. 15 years old and uh, can't imagine how scared that girl was. I'm assuming maybe she watched her mother mother get shot and killed. Then to be taken on a wild chase. And then for the people that, you know, you expect to trust and, you know, you can trust they're going to help you. They're going to save you and are calling out to you over and over. Get up and run. Get up and run. You're following commands, following and obeying. And they shoot you and blast you to death. So, yeah, uh, it's really shitty. I'm trying to see if they had anything else. So the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department released the audio slash video clips, including a heavily produced and narrated 15 minute video on Friday in response to the public records made by the Associated Press and other media outlets. The deputies did not have body worn cameras, but video footage was recorded by a sheriff's helicopter and witnesses dashboard cameras. Before Savannah and her father were shot, deputies pursued Grisano's pickup truck for some 70 miles, including a long highway. A helicopter crew following along the chase rep uh, reported shots fired from the driver's side. Other shots were fired from the passenger side, according to the deputy at the, by, and passing motorists. It's unclear who was shooting from the pickup truck. The truck and deputies' vehicles came to a stop at the desert interstate east of Los Angeles and Hesperia north of Fontana, where her father had shot and killed her mother, his estranged wife, a day earlier. Savannah was just steps away from safety when she was killed, the video shows. A deputy cover be taking cover behind the sheriff's SUV repeatedly shouts at her, Passenger, get out. Come to me. Come to me. Wearing tactical gear and a helmet, the teenager gets out. And, they, and, I, don't, that, and I don't think that that was true. See, they were trying to say she was wearing tactical gear and a helmet. I'll have to take a look at that video. The teenager gets out of the pickup truck from the passenger side and runs towards the deputy, briefly crouching to get on the ground as he continues to give her commands. But she refuses from, sorry, but she rises from her crouch and starts to towards the deputy. Other, others from a higher elevation open fire. The deputy screams, stop, stop shooting her. He's in the car. Stop. The deputy shouts were not broadcast over the radio. The sheriff's department said, but the audio was captured on his belt recorder. 
A deputy in the helicopter can be heard saying, oh no, over the radio after the teen was shot. For months, officials would not say whether it was her father or the deputies who killed Savannah. Almost like that Texas ch- uh, church, mega church shooting where the child was shot, which that mother, that, you know, that mother's a piece of shit. That mother brought that kid in there. That mother was planning on using him as a human vest and a human shield. And when, when, and when that didn't work out, she was pretending she had a bomb in hopes that, like, these people are going to back off. She was like, okay, stop. I got a bomb. I got a bomb. No, they popped her ass. Um, for months, officials would not say whether it was her father or deputies. And so the situation, the comparison I'm making is that as far as I know, they still haven't said with that kid that was shot. I think the kid's still alive. I think I haven't last checked. They were in critical condition. I thought they were improving. But we've never heard who was the person that shot that kid. So with this situation, it's like kind of same thing. Different states, different stories, but made me think of that. The agency has not released autopsy reports for the teenager, her father, or her mother. And has not named the deputies involved. The department said four sheriff's deputy, four sheriff's department vehicles were struck by gunfire during the pursuit, and the deputy sees multiple firearms and hundreds of rounds from the pickup truck, as well as flashbangs, smoke grenades, body armor, and tactical helmets. Savannah was not armed when she was shot. The Department of Justice, which is investigating the shooting, referred to referred media inquiries to their 2022 news release and declined to further comment. State law requires the department to review any officer-involved shooting resulting in the death of an unarmed civilian. And they're saying here Savannah witnessed her mother's slaying from the backseat of her father's pickup truck, but did not move to help, her authorities said. Her father jumped out with a handgun and fired several times at Martinez near an elementary school during the morning drop-off, forcing students and parents to dive for cover. Anthony Grisano also shot a father and child near the school. Wow. Anthony had moved out of the family's home a month or two before the killing as the couple went through a divorce. Fontana police have said Savannah Grisano left with her father while her younger brother stayed in, with their mother. Anthony, had been, Anthony and his daughter had been living out of his pickup truck and hotels for weeks before the violence police said there were no reports of domestic violence or child abuse. Wow. I wonder where that, uh, the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. Let's see something. Is this a recent video they released? Let's take a look. Mm-mm-mm. I want to see clips of it. And the deputy sheriffs that were involved in this case will have to remember this for their entire lives. San Bernardino County Sheriff Shannon Dykus addressing the deputy involved shooting of 15 year old Ryan. That's somebody else. Okay. All right. Well. Oh, is that who I was just looking at? Ryan Greener, the police. The, okay, hold on. Let's see what this is. The reality is, is that Ryan's family and the deputy sheriffs that were involved in this case will have to remember this for their entire lives. San Bernardino County Sheriff Shannon Dykus addressing the deputy involved shooting of 15 year old Ryan Gaynor, who was autistic. The use of a taser in this situation with the amount of time or the use of pepper spray would not have been something that number one, we would have been able to react to quick enough. And ultimately we have to stop this problem. We have to remember that even law enforcement officers they are not required to be hit over the head with something. And what happens when that happens, when they get incapacitated? In this case, since January, we've been to this residence in Apple Valley five times. Out of those five times, 
The 15-year-old juvenile, Ryan, was taken to a mental health facility both by ambulance and by law enforcement, and there was no force that had to be used in any of these incidents. That's my point of saying our social safety network is not working and needs to be strengthened. Hmm. So they've had a lot of calls out to the house, a lot of issues at the house. And I guess the last time, let me find, I'm going to find out what happened. The last time uh, they were there, all hell broke loose. Gainer, Ryan Gainer. So this body cam that was released. Body cam video shows fatal shooting of teen with autism as he approaches California deputy with a gardening tool. California sheriff's deputies fatally shot a teenager who, uh, with autism who had a gardening tool over the weekend. A dramatic incident unfolded. A 15-year-old Ryan Gainer's family home had already calm down before authorities arrived at the scene deputies in apple valley responded to a 911 call around 4 48 p.m march 9th from gainer's family who said he was actively assaulting family members and damaging property at the residence in audio of 911 call that was released by the sheriff's department a woman can be heard describing the incident and reporting an assault and battery Let's see 911 call Ryan gainer I don't have a now one call here. Christine, initially only short clips of the deputy's body-worn camera video was released, but today full clips, unedited clips from the perspective to stop. Still, 15 came there, said the only court. The studio does say. Christine, initially only short clips of the deputy's body-worn camera video was released, but today full clips, unedited clips from the perspective of two deputies. Um, it shows the moment that 15-year-old Ryan Gaynor, who is autistic, came at a deputy with a gardening hoe. Take a look. Where is he at? Hey, get back! Oh, get back! Get his shot! Oh, he tried to run away too. Oh man! As you see there, he ran. To what kind of tool is that? Towards the deputy, despite the warnings to stop. Still, photos from the bat body cam video shows how close the teen came to the deputy before three rounds were shot. The preliminary investigation suggests both deputies fired. The sheriff said the only thing edited out of the video was a couple of audio drops to protect the investigation. But he does say that the deputies seem to follow protocol. That um, in this circumstance, whether we knew didn't know had the best resources available to us this is a reactionary show this right here um, and if we're looking at this in the scope of being a human being and what they're trained for the deputies follow done. through okay. with what their training protocols are there have been other occasions where the family had reached out to the sheriff's department and the sheriff's department followed their training uh which is they de-escalated incidents where they had made encounters or contacts with ryan That's do it, Lacey, the Gaynor family attorney who talked to Fox 11 News last night. He has not commented on the news conference today, but he did point out that the deputies were well aware of Ryan Gaynor, that the family oftentimes had called the sheriff's department in order to get help for Ryan. Um, it, right now, Shannon Dykus just says that this is just another example of how the social network, as he called it, needs to be fixed and that. Yeah, that's tough. That's really, uh, really, really sad. Uh, the cop did try to run away. I, I, I couldn't tell what they're saying. This is a gardening tool. I don't know what kind of tool that is. Uh, I mean, I thought maybe a shovel, but that doesn't really look like a shovel. I don't know what that is, but. Oh, 
Well, sometimes, yeah. Oh, gardening hose? That's a gardening hose? Also, like a stick or something. Or maybe it's an attachment to a gardening hose? Yeah, I, I think they're. I think they're going to. I don't think they're going to be held. At, like, they're going to get in trouble. But bad though, because it's a kid, autistic. Those, those kids are really uh, hard to deal with in some kids. I have a cousin that's autistic, and. You know, he's just going 100 miles an hour all the time, like, you know, like here, there, touching this, turn that, turning the something, opening the door, trying to run out. Like, it's a constant thing. So, like, yeah, I, I can understand it's, it's got to be tough, you know, dealing with that. And then when they start to grow, I mean, my cousin, he's like bigger than me. He's in his teens. He's, he was like big, huge. Um, I mean, he hasn't done anything crazy, but, you know, he has his moments where he's just, like, all over or a couple times where he, like, you know, they, don't, you, they don't know how to open the door. They'll try to run out on you if you're not paying attention. I guess you're going to have special locks and stuff. It'd be very, very challenging. But um, I wonder those five times where the other five times the cops came out, and I, I'm assuming maybe he got, I don't know if he got Baker acted or what was the help that they were able to get for him? And maybe that's what they're talking about, this the social system of like, I mean, is he just going in, staying for a couple of days, and then it's, all right, bye. You know, they're, they're not getting to the root of the problem. If there's anything that they can do or can help him with or any, any kind of medication or whatever, you know, is he, is he just doing these couple of days where he's Baker acted and then they send him back out and nothing's really getting resolved? It's a gardening hoe. Okay, let me see. Oh. Oh, that's what you guys kept saying, hoe. How the hell is that a gardening hoe? Oh. I kept thinking hose. Like a gar like like a water hose. They call this shit a garden hoe. Okay. Alright, alright. Gypsy sent me the picture. That makes sense. I mean the the other thing with that that you kinda have to worry about. I mean, I can imagine being a cop. I don't know what it's like, but, you know, with having a gun and somebody's charging at you, if this person somehow incapacitates you and takes your gun and shoots you, you know, I, th I feel like there was a story recently. Let me see. Cop has gun stolen and killed. I th I'm pretty sure I thought there was a. I don't remember which one it was. There was one recently where the, I think a cop had gotten like a tussle with somebody. I thought they were shot. Hmm. But it happens though. Oh, there there was a uh, hold on. Oh no, you know what I'm thinking of? I know that's happened with a cop, but there there was a. Uh, Oh, I'm, what I'm thinking of, too, of that New York story where the guy was on a train and the guy was the aggressor. Let me see. So somebody got somebody had their gun stolen from them and then they were killed with their own gun. I think it was the aggressor that had, had a gun. On him. The guy st stole it off of him and then shot him. <laughs> Mel City Boy. All right, guys. I guess I'm gonna head out for now. Thank you so much for the morning hangout. I don't have any notifications for now. Just FYI, on this page. So just make sure you go over to Ikid Mel CC. Uh, until I'll have notifications in a couple hours on this page. So if something extra happens, just make sure you you follow me on the second page. All right, and make sure you like and subscribe. Take care. Peace. Bye. Bloop, 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 bloop.